Give me permission to sire. Right off the top of my head. Two people come to mind. Yuki, who... Hmm. I wonder how she'd feel about that. There's also Heather. Who I'm sure would love to be sired. I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually come back to collect my pay. Doesn't it to check in for a second? Hey! Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Thanks. Keep it coming. Holy shit. That wasn't the best fucking business decision I've ever made. Alright. I should go check... Yeah. I should at least go check in... Anna. Driver, hop in. Take me to Santa Monica. Where did Yuki go? Did she go home? I haven't seen her since I brought the sarcophagus back. I think she went home. It's all right. Talk to you later. All right. Go check my mail. Use some blood from Hannah. And no messages. Ah, uh, the campaign. Man, who the fuck is this dude? I know you botched her job the other night downtown, but we found you and know where you live. Normally you'd be riding in a gutter by now, but there's some kind of pro. Uh the deal with you. Find this accountant Carl that works next to the same parking garage. Make sure you ain't breathing. Huh. Is this about the stuff that happened at the parking garage that I did for Larry? It's possible. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know what he could do for me, though, honestly. Hmm. Not really too worried about the threat, but... Could be beneficial to work with him. I can at least check it out. Hey, Hannah. Master? Um, I need your blood for now. Do I embrace her or do I embrace Yuki? Honestly, I feel like Yuki's the better option, but. This. Uh, I'll talk to her. 
I mean, I wouldn't blame her if she doesn't want to be embraced. She is a hunter, after all. Oh, not a vampire hunter specifically. In fact, she's... At this point, probably my closest friend. Driver. Going somewhere? Chinatown. Alright, let's uh let's see if she's at the ramen shop. Hope so. Um it's just the place I think. Deb's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. Oh. Huh. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Not here. on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. But please don't send any more drinks. Get back there. The lines are all full, so why don't Where did I she go? Leaves? Line three, you're speaking to me. Stop, Deb. And what? I was I could try going in around back. I could have a look, just see if she's back there. I don't know if I really need to be hiding. Deb's back and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the air. No sign of her. Hmm. Strange that she would just disappear like that. Can't help but be worried, but uh, she can take care of herself. Honestly, she wouldn't want to be embraced, anyways. I don't know why she's working with me, but I do know she doesn't hate anything more than demons. There's no way she'd want to be one of them. I'll just embrace Hannah. Take her with me. Alright, I've made up my mind. Hey. Where to? Santa Monica. Well, on the bright side, I'm sure Hannah will be happy about this. It feels so weird not having her behind me. If I'm gonna embrace her, I should bring her along with me. Give her some experience. Hey, Anna. Master? We need to talk about something. It's important. Anything. Just ask. I've received permission to embrace. I chose you. My life felt meaningless until that night when you saved me. Without your presence, this world is merciless and vulgar and... I'd die for you. That's just it. You will die. And it's gonna hurt. Are you sure you want this? Hurt me. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I just want to be with you, no matter what. <sighs> okay. Then prepare yourself. It's time. Yes. Get behind me. All right. I 
Just did that. Alright. Let's go, Hannah. Alright. I'm not gonna take you straight into a den of hunters. So... There are a few things we can do first. Before I go there. I would like to get you at least a little bit prepared. To, you know, actually be helpful. So... Here's what we're gonna do. Let me take a look at my journal. Um... I have an idea. How about we investigate this murder? Alright. So, what we know is there was a murder on Santa Monica Pier. I believe it was done by either a vampire or a werewolf or something else. Either way, it wasn't human. And I don't think it was a wild animal. That's about all I know for now. I also was tasked to find a certain man in downtown Skyline Apartments. He wasn't there. Now, this is just a hunch, but I believe his disappearance has something to do with this murder. I have no reason to think that. It's literally just a hunch. So, I think we start there. Got all that? Good. Let's head downtown. Need a ride? Downtown. So, we can narrow a few things off right off the bat. Or, narrow a few things down, rather. Um... I've already searched most of the city doing other tasks. So, I think if we just walk around, take these buildings down one by one, be where I haven't been yet. I believe I've been there. Possibly not, but that wouldn't make any sense. Now, I do have a place in mind. Across from the ra last round, there was some kind of warehouse. Now, I've seen it before. I never actually entered because I was always busy. But, if I was some crazy psychopath murderer and I wanted to take my victim somewhere isolated where they probably wouldn't be found, well, this is the place. I'll look around. Definitely run down. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing what I was expecting, I'll be honest. Hmm. I suppose... I guess it's the wrong place. Hmm. Not entirely convinced, though. There's no way there's nothing here.
Well, this was my biggest hunch. I guess we'll go back to square one. Go back to Muddy's apartment. Alright, so he was in Skyline Apartments, I think. Let me check, I wrote it down. Room 2A. Maybe I missed something the first time I checked it out. Let's have a look. Um, where else? And again, this could be completely unrelated. And I could just be crazy. Definitely a possibility. After all, there aren't really any solid connections between two cases. It really has just a hunch. Hmm. Either way, let's check it out. He's in room two. Already unlocked it. Okay. If there's anything out of place. Mr. Milton. I know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. This is new. I was here not that long ago, and that definitely wasn't left there. I mean, that's the place we were just at, isn't it? That can't be a coincidence. I knew there was something up with that place, I knew. Let's check it out one more time. I knew we had to have missed something. There's, there's got to be some kind of clue. Unless that was left just now. There was no date. No date, no time. the off chance that they're meeting right now. We should hurry up. I want to be there if anything happens. I mean, I would have passed them, right? But I would know what... But I would know what he looks like. I guess it's possible he would have passed me without even us noticing. Yeah, let's head in. Shit. Well, it's still fresh. Hey. Did you see it? Bloody mess? Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a ragdoll. Tell me what you saw. 
These two guys, the dead guy, and the other, and uh, well, they showed up. Uh, I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? A dead feller called him Muddy. So, this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So, the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I'd like to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Then what happened? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was, and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow, and made the guy scream. <sighs> Shit. You will forget what you saw here. Leave and do not return. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Alright, that's taken care of. Definitely don't want people... Knowing what happened here. It's gruesome. This definitely isn't muddy. Fuck. Not jump through fire. Let's jump up here. Lucky star. That might be where we find Muddy. Oh, it doesn't hurt to try. Let's head to Hollywood. East Star Motel. Feel kind of bad for David. There was what I did. There was that bloody mess of a room when the whatever those things were attacked. Spot. And now this. Can I? Jesus. Hop in. Drive. Alright, lucky star. It's over here. For better or worse, I've been here a couple times before. David? Alright. Guess we just check the doors one by one. Definitely one of them with a key card. Now that. Oh my god! My work is done! Brother Salvage. Jumped out through the window. I can't say for certain that it's the same guy from the Santa Monica case. Should definitely check it out though. Brothers Salvage. I'll scream. That is in Santa Monica, isn't it? 
think I remember seeing a sign somewhere. Go look around. Driver. Going somewhere? Santa Monica. There's salvage right there. I have seen the face. I should also demon, tell and it is kill Patrick what happened to Muddy. Uh, let's do this first. Lead to the spinal columns of the great beast. The, here. All you walk willingly to the eternal feast. What the hell? The fuck was that? Something Dogs. there in the dark? Oh. Jesus! Back here. God, the hell? Like a fucking maniac. Jesus. Chill, would you? I just want to talk. Fuck. So much for talking, Jesus. Gotta somehow get past all this fire. Ah. Stuck. Yes. Get behind me. Maybe if I can. for a second. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Was not planning on being set on fire today. Let's get ready for a fight. There we go. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What's the matter? Afraid of a fair fight? My work is done. I don't want to, but I'll fight you to the death. What's your work? Killing random lowlifes? Betraying kindred secrets? What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. All the same, I'd love to hear your explanation. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! Try. Make me understand. My family, my children were Butchered by small-time criminals, just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there, in the way? So killing people made you feel better? Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen? These murders were your revenge, then? Revenge? Justice? 
Whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. You got them. It's over. You can get on with... life. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. That's the beast talking. It has a hold on you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! <laughs> Look, maybe you did. But you lost control. And now you have to be dealt with. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Do you think your family would be proud of how you're acting? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. <sighs> All right. Go. Get on with your unlife. All right. So how does it feel? You just solved a murder. Gaze upon me and see it. Ah. Well. Before we go for our next step, I suppose I'll let you rest. And we'll decide what we do next. Sound good? Alright. Check my mail real quick. Alright, check my email one more time. Gang girl named Scott, doing research at the LA Public Library. Sombra. A smoke shop in Santa Monica. Alright. Well, we'll take a breather, and I think we have our next task. <laughs>